and Happy New Year. Happy New Year, you guys. AOBN, Adventures of the Black Nerds, man. <laughs> we are back. not bullshitting. <laughs> we not messing around. It's real. We here. We are here. What's it, up, man? Man, I've been dealing with all types of life, but it's all good. Mm -hmm. um, I'm here, and I'm ready to get this year right, ready to keep to a schedule. I'm ready to new year, new me. I kind of hate that stuff. Me too. I, hate, like, I don't I, like that. I, I don't like it because it's like usually the biggest form of lying. <laughs> <laughs> that um, everybody agrees with. Yeah, Week everyone into okay the with year. The like, yeah, like you, it's like we're as a society okay with one big lie. Everyone gets one big lie a year. And there's a resolution. I've I seen a um, meme. I seen a meme on Facebook where they said the it, it was like, oh yeah, I'm a January's my trial one, so my New Year's gonna start February. <laughs> so uh, see, now that's that more honest. Sense. Yes, that makes that sense. That is that is the most honest thing possible i i absolutely love that mm -hmm. that makes sense that makes i can live with that i definitely yeah. like that idea let, See, let me I, let me warm up yeah because i don't know january i might have decided to do something and it just was a terrible idea maybe i want to drink some soda out. i want yeah. to get it dry <laughs> yeah and is canada dry really soda or is it just medicine when it's medicine <laughs> 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 my mama said, when my stomach hurt, go drink some Canada Dry. So Yeah, like, is it just medicine we enjoy drinking on a regular basis? Mm, it's, it's medicine. <laughs> yeah, it's good for you. You know, it's not lean. It doesn't, you know, yeah, it doesn't get don't bad. mess you up. I mean, yeah, but it just, I ain't never had no tummy ache after I drink Canada after, Dry. So. Right, and I don't you get mean? sleepy after drinking it, and I don't slur after drinking it. Exactly. So leave so, me alone. <laughs> yeah, man. Bro, okay, so now that we talk about how much we hate New create, did you do any New Year's resolutions? Hell no. Do I look like I do New Year's resolutions? No, not at all. <laughs> no, but I cannot do. I, I don't like New Year's resolutions because you can start that at any time. If you want to mm. go on a diet, you can start a diet at any time. You don't have to any wait time. for January 1st to start. And it's almost like I compare it to like restarting a video game. Like, you mm -hmm. may have started back up a game that you haven't played in a while. For example, if I decided to ever jump back on Metal Gear Solid, and gotcha. I'm like, man, I don't know where I left off at. Let me just wipe and do it all over again. I could do that at any point. I don't have to wait until a specific... I love the video game reference to... You know what I'm saying? Life. That was great. Got, got to fit. Got, got to throw yeah. it in there. Got to... Right? <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, I just don't like that. I don't just start it. Just start well, it. And then a lot and then I think a lot of people have get have gotten to this mode of I'ma say it on social media so everybody can see me. Oh, and the one man. thing I think and I'm not a hater. Like I do you. Like I want you to be happy. I want you to be but I want the first you to thing win. I, think, I want you to win. The first thing I think of when somebody say that shit, and I, I would assume everybody thinks the same way about me when I say some shit like that is, here we go again, you know. So, right. Oh, <laughs> well, damn. Yeah, there you go. You know, how many times he going to go on the diet? How many times Bro. he going to stop eating meat? How many times he going to be vegan? <laughs> Bro, let me let me tell you. So my, my daughter, my kids have taught me to not promise anything or say anything unless we're about to do it like right oh, then and there. Oh, my gosh. Um, cause my kid, she is a elephant and she remembers every goddamn thing. Mm -hmm. Um, she's been talking about this birthday party that easily happened four or five months ago. And she keeps talking. It wasn't even that spectacular of a party. No offense to every party. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't even, it wasn't like the most jump in his party uh -huh. ever. It just was a party mm -hmm. and she remembered. But the point I'm trying to make is. Unless I'm like on the road to go to Disneyland, I'm not gonna post a picture talking about man, we about to hit this Disneyland up, we're about to be happiest place on earth and change these kids' lives. I'm gonna like, tell, yeah. tell you one thing. I even told my wife, don't do that. Like, cause what she would do is um we when whenever we would get ready to go somewhere, she would take like pictures and on our way to such and such. Like, like, don't be telling first me of all, where we going. First of all, we're like an hour away. Anything can happen. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's chill. We're on the way, y'all. Uh, flat tire yeah. ruined the weekend. Exactly, because <laughs> right. I'll tell you one thing: I catch a flat tire on the freeway headed there. I'm, I'm going, going home. home. <laughs> so, That's a sign. Hey. I take signs very serious. So 
now I'm I'm at this mode, and even I, when I talk to her, I tell her, like, yo, let's just post something when we get there. When we get into the park, we can take all the pictures. That's what we're there to do anyway. Yeah. You want, you know, you want to remember these moments and have Facebook memories, five years ago memories, which I, I'm, I don't knock. I yeah, think yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the route. That, like, that is the yeah. thing of today. That's the world like, we live in now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Post it. People can see. People can like it. And... I, and mostly family members, obviously. Like, oh yeah, yeah. you see a lot of family members that. Are, but I don't. I'm not the one. Like, I'm not the one. Like, I, I last year was the first time I ever posted like a gym picture. <laughs> like I like a like a selfie. Did you feel the, awkward? I felt weird. Like it felt dirty, huh? Like mm, That's, it, it's strange, I don't bro. Know, like, am I supposed to be in the gym doing this? Like, <laughs> I thought I was supposed like to be I could have got out. two more sets in, but I guess I can. Yeah, quick. I mean, like, how long I'm gonna sit? sit how long I'm gonna sit on this one bench and just take a picture? Like, and, th- and then I had the audacity to say mm, that one didn't look right. <laughs> See, that's what I'm, bro. It creates a whole new monster. Is you know what? I I just aspire not to become the 45 to 50 year old guy, 45 and up guys who take Facebook pictures like this. <laughs> <laughs> that that is um, the angle. The angle of this right here. Angle, yeah, yeah, look, I, I, I can't see. <laughs> yeah, look, I can't do it right now. Bro. Like they trying to look through their bifocals. Exactly. Like, like, that, like that's mm-hmm. what, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bro. Y'all know what angle I'm talking about. There's probably some women out there with some sugar daddies out there who pictures I'm, like. I'm not gonna front. You can go on Facebook right now and take three scrolls and you'll run across one. Bro, I'm telling you. And I I actually that's just something I really wish to avoid. I'm gonna put that as my solution for life. Um <laughs> for just life. to avoid taking the pictures. But one thing I do take pride in with this new year is my dad jokes are becoming so strong. Uh, as as I become more and more embedded in this fatherhood, Uh-oh. I'm getting this ability that's bestowed upon us by the universe <laughs> and it's to make cheesy ass jokes Uh-oh. that are only I, only available and blessed upon those who I try to are honored that. to become fathers no i take such pride in it i'm gonna tell you why um, we, man, uh, i just i guess i'm that old head growing <laughs> up we had jokes for days like <laughs> yes if you wanted to laugh we could make you laugh i never thought i needed to go through a dad joke to make you crack so uh Bro. I don't know. Uh, any chance I get, and you know what's, you know how I know they're great. I can't remember them. Oh shit! Like I, there, I can't just sit here. Oh, I said this one dad joke. Mm-hmm. No, there's plenty, and they're there, and they in that moment, they were gifts. You about the and they were the present. <laughs> so we enjoyed the present, and now we're moving on. New year, new us. New year, new us. <laughs> Dad jokes for life. <laughs> Dad um, jokes for life. <laughs> I, but on a serious note, though, um, I guess if if you had to make a ser- uh, like a New Year's resolution, if you had to, mm. mine's would be something like like to become to stay consistent, yes. something like that. That's like, that's exactly what mine is. Yeah, to to stay consistent, so, like something in that regards, like. You know, I, I so just... so okay. So we don't have a New Year's resolution. They, we have an action word to live by mm-hmm. for the for, like our our main word for the year for Adventures of the Black Nerds consistency. Consistency. You know what? I'm gonna rock with that. Consistency. I might even I might even print that out at work because I'm not. I ain't consistent and <laughs> put that right here consistency hey hey i'm, I'm not gonna put front. big that's, ass letters that's being consistent <laughs> <laughs> he said i ain't printed out here printed out here. at work you Shoot. man i ain't hey sta- it's funny i said that to myself i was like i ain't stapling this paperwork right here i'm man. gonna wait i get the work use they two man. staples and be silent bro i'll be Man, all type of stuff. Look, I'm about to snitch on myself. <laughs> but um, <laughs> look, I must be a new rapper. <laughs> I, why is that such a thing, bro? Why is that such a thing, man? Why? Rap snitches. MF Doom talked about it. He man. did a whole song called Rap Snitches. Bro. Be your own star witness. Man. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, 
and it's not. Dude. And I don't. You know what? I wouldn't even call it like a rap thing. Only now, I, I, it's drug dealers stitching on themselves. Like, bro, it's what? Crazy. What did old boy? Uh, old boy from uh, Canada. Um, not Drake. Um, the short one. Um, I don't know. He sings, but whatever. The dude. Oh, Tory Lanez. He was, Tory Lanez. He was like Snapchatting with the work, bro. They had like bricks in Canada. I was like, that just. That's all it is. Bruh. No, they was breaking it down. He was like, got that work. <laughs> he was like, got that jail time. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't get it, man. If, if that, if, if, hey, if you, if you guys bought that life, which I don't knock. I mean, it ain't, yeah, it ain't for me. Do, do what man. you do. Yeah. But uh, if y'all Somebody hear this, please stop snitching on your, on yourself. <laughs> Stay off the internet. Yeah, please. you don't need to let people know you got money that tax man. Hey, man. I feel like more drug dealers get taken down by tax tax fraud than anything else uh, because yeah. you're just showing how much money you got. Stop taking yeah, pictures. Bro. I get like off. the cartel. What do they do? They be taking pictures on the internet. You don't see their face. You don't know who it is, but they just gold is. weapons. <laughs> they sit there. <laughs> they got the gold deagle. Yeah, like, but you don't never see a face, no no, no markers, no nothing Twitch, to verify no nothing, who this person no is. Tattoo. Yeah. Yeah, you don't man. even see the women's faces; you just see bodies. Like, oh. just... stop but, snitching but on yourselves, the... man. That's... Yeah, stop snitching, man. please. Let's let's leave that in the past. Leave that in 2018. Please stay. Yes, keep all your frauding safe. <laughs> Fraud safely. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, all right. So back right. to uh, the let's episode. Get serious. Let's get it right, okay? All right. So you brought up a good point talking about Sega Dreamcast, so take it. Yes, so uh, it's rumored, rumor has it, because it's not factual yet, that there uh, is possibly a remake to the Sega Dreamcast. Now, I don't know about you, and I don't know about the rest of the world, if there was supposed to be a remake, that is the only console that deserves a remake. Now, In my re- opinion. Okay. Right? The now, recently we... Oh, go ahead. Keep going. Go my ahead. bad. I mean, a joke. No, recently, we, we have seen, just to give some background, recently we have seen that they brought back the NES, Super NES, Sega, um, the. Bu- 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 I want to say that's it. Sega, Super NES, the NES. PlayStation. They oh, they, they did just come out with the PlayStation. Yeah. The PlayStation 1, which, which I'm going to be honest, when it comes to remakes, once you start getting into the 3D world, you're gone too far. Mm-hmm. Um, Now, only reason I say that for PlayStation One, those games don't age that well. Yeah, you know, like it's it. But when you go to Dreamcast, remember Dreamcast was ahead of its time. That's it didn't get a fair shake. It I, did I think not. A, a lot of things caused that though. The the yes. ability to to burn games, I think, oh, ruined yeah. that. The ability to burn games. I mean, the 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 most expensive thing about games was having the reboot disc. Yep. And I was a kid. I was only ten years old. When Knew the about kids it. Yeah. So it was like free games, or that's what it felt like free games at the time. But people, like, people had a bunch of yeah. uh, CD CD holders yeah, full the, of bootleg games. <laughs> no Life picture, was crazy. just the, the piracy black was real back then. It was then. crazy back then. And we don't support piracy. Sure don't. We don't. We don't support piracy. But if you do it. You do it safely. Hey, stop snitching. It's out there. Stop <laughs> <Yes>. snitching. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, I I really do agree with you, and I'm gonna shut up. So talk. Yeah. So what game? What game did they have showcased? All right. Well, this was no. This was like I said. This was just an article that I had read on uh, C Net. I believe that was a. Uh, I will have the link for the description in, in below. Gotcha. Consistency. 2019 <laughs> but um yeah they they did talk about it they didn't have a feature game behind it it was just the system itself they, it, it, and it kind of went over a brief history of the the dreamcast itself so i mean we sat here uh before the podcast and we talked about games on the dreamcast that i would love to enjoy again yes. um like i said we had a dreamcast growing up we had, and we didn't even have the max essential for the Dreamcast. We had two controllers, never had four, 
only had two controllers, right? We had a plethora of games because they were just they were flying around like hotcakes, and uh, <laughs> and but we never had like the actual the 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 memory card like game thing that goes into the controller. We never had that. I've never seen that before. Only oh. on like in magazines and on the TV and stuff like that. So, so you didn't even get to utilize it to the max. I really didn't get to break it in. So that's why it was, and then my brother, my older brother had, he had the the, the icy blue clear Sega Dreamcast uh, with the controller, and he was the one that played the Dreamcast more than us. So when when the system came out, I knew nothing about it. The only game I used to play was Crazy Taxi and Jet Set Radio Future, and when we would play that. We would have to, I would have to play it and leave it on because I wasn't even too sure about how to save it. So, you know, how many times mm. I restarted that game, so many <clears throat> damn times it felt <laughs> it, it was horrible. But yeah. I, would, I would tell you one thing it set me up for PlayStation 2 because for like a cool six months, I had no controller. <laughs> I mean, I had no memory card. Memory card, yeah. Oh my god, that life of leaving games. Oh hey. man. You know how many times I Gauntlet Legends on Nintendo 64. Crazy, right? Uh, bro, we left that thing on, and I would put it on my school books. This, so it would be on the carpet. Um, I would, and I would have a vent. I would have a vent like slightly over the front. Like, bro, bro we had that a, was real. We had a Sega Dreamcast, or I'm sorry, a Sega, the Genesis 3, the small mm-hmm. one. And um, we would put it, we had to, we chiseled holes in the wood. Because we were scared that it was gonna catch on fire, so just we put, so it could vent. <laughs> so it could vent. We put holes through that thing, man. We put it, we, and then every time, and we didn't. You didn't want to move it because you didn't want to mess up anything. We, me and my cousin, I swear on everything. When we would get home, we would do our homework at home. So, because we would take terms on Sonic. So we're trying to beat Sonic, and we would get to the boss. We would beat, go through the whole game without dying, have all the lives and all the continues in the world. And um, it was like, yo, I'm about to just, yo, just pause it. I'm going to leave it on. I'm going to lock the door. We used to lock the door, and there was a little window in, the, in our back room that you could jump through. And we would the only way to get through there is jumping through the window. And I was like, yo, don't nobody go in there. Don't touch that. <laughs> Leave it Bro, alone. It was real. It was life. That was real. Those days were very, very, mm-hmm. very real. And then the systems weren't necessarily quiet either. No. Like <laughs> all the noise in the world. So you had to you had to make sure you like put it Everything's in. Everything's like, okay. What, what's that noise? It's fine. Oh nothing. We're good. Has it been on too long? You're gonna break it. It's fine. No, Don't touch it. I used to purposely, purposely I used to wait up like by my grandmother's doing Grandma, you okay? Grandma, do you need anything? Just so she didn't walk into the den. Because uh-huh. once she got into the den, she heard it. Then it's like, hey, uh-huh. turn that off. You burn the energy, uh-huh. blah, blah. So I would get her everything she wanted before it was bedtime. Like, hey, you need anything? Like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Oh, yeah, let me walk you there. <laughs> I'm talking to her the whole way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bro, it, that was life, man. That, that okay. Was days, man. So, so, so with the Dreamcast. Okay. What? What? games would you want to see on it because what they usually come with what like 10 to 12 games uh these reboots yeah so, um so a, just name I'm, a few that you would just like you need to see on there okay so uh we were talking about this the star wars episode one racer Ooh. must have i love that game to the max i used to beat all my brothers in that game and i felt like a god at that game i'm not gonna even front so uh that has to be there excuse me uh, I feel like you have to bring back Sonic Adventures. That has I was to about be. to say, yeah. Sonic Adventures has to be there. Uh, the reason why is because that was like the game with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. uh, the face. Yeah, so us, you not having Sonic Adventures with it would kind of be... Pointless. Uh, yeah, pointless to even bring it back. Um, but Jet Set Radio Future has to come back. That mm-hmm. has to... I never beat it, never had the chance to beat it, and that game was actually fun. The story was so far up until whenever I would keep getting rebooted, the story was pretty dope. Uh, even like learning all this stuff, that was the first complicated game that I really had to play. Like 
Because it was an adventure, and you had to do like certain tricks. Yeah, you had to get certain moves to move forward. Yeah, even, even when you like had to grind past like a point, you had to paint, and then you had to hurry up. And once you got there, you had to paint it real quick, and then keep the grind going and keep doing the tricks to get your points up. So that that game, I'm going to say, has to be there. Uh, and then Berserk, man. Um, I never played that game. The reason why I, I never played that game as much as I wish I did. The reason why I remember that game like like it was yesterday, my older brother, like I said, he had a Dreamcast. And he would play the mess out of that game and I would just sit and watch him. So that was my first time ever being like, I'm going to say that and or uh, Resident Evil was the first time that I actually mm. sat and watch somebody play a game and, you know, didn't just was intrigued just to sit there and watch it. Every other game I'm normally playing. So I think those, yeah, so Sonic, uh, Jet Set Radio Future, Berserk, and uh, what did I say? Oh, Star Wars, Episode One Racer. I feel like those fours have to be there. Anything else after that, I would it would be new to me because, like I said, I didn't really enjoy the Dreamcast as much as I should have when it first was got you you know and then I was I was a kid like I was yeah 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 yeah. school you know do your homework or you're playing or well in in my day it was only the weekends and we had to hide to play that shit so so (laughs) we we used to set up old TVs and in places where a TV shouldn't be in the backyard underneath the yeah just so nobody would bug you yeah we had it in our shed one time. We had a TV in the shed and just a gang of extension cords. <laughs> just so nobody... That's fun. Yeah, so... Man, so, I those four. What about... Well, other... I, I know I said those yeah, four. Yeah, I'm going to t- try to touch on some different ones. Okay. So, outside of those ones, um, Ready to Rumble, Power oh, okay. Stone. Power Stone was one of the first... Um, I want to say I played Power Stone before I played... Um, before I played, uh, what is that damn game that everybody plays? Super Smash Bros. Uh, okay. um, so it it was dope because the air the arenas were destructible. Mm. So you okay. would be playing, and then you got random items to pick up, and it was a um, 3D world, and um, you'd be beating the crap out of each other, and all of a sudden the map would change, right. and like you'd have to grab an umbrella. If you didn't get an umbrella in time. You would fall and take damage. Like mm. the game, the game was dope. Power Stone, ready, to, ready to rumble. Um, you ready brought to, up uh, ready to rumble was a great game too. I'm not hell gonna, yeah, um, that was a dope ass boxing was a game. Great game, man. I used, used to, to beat the snot out of people. Um, Worms Armageddon. That game oh, was a ama- yes. That game was fun too. That game was so much fun. I played it more on on the computer. Yeah. Um, than I did play it on. Uh, I played on PC way more than I played on Dreamcast. Yeah, me too. Gauntlet Legends. Gauntlet Legends. Gauntlet dude, Legends. I used to... What's that game about? So Gauntlet is originally an arcade game. Okay. You four players going around trying to, you know, it's a, not necessarily a beat 'em up. It it would be better to compare it to like a a linear Diablo. Like okay. you're kind of like top down. You guys are moving around the map. Killing monsters, moving forward. Um, it was hard as hell. Really? Or maybe I was just a kid, but it was hard as hell. Mm. Um, oh, I can't, Marvel versus uh, Marvel versus uh, Capcom, Capcom superheroes, bro. I need these games. <laughs> they, they They're okay. Give them to me, <laughs> Marvel Marvel superheroes, which is a different game. I'm jumping topics. There is a um, there is there was a, a gas station out in the desert. That whenever I'd go visit my family out there, I would stop at this gas station just to waste a few quarters mm-hmm. because it was the only place I knew that had the box yeah. and that would run it. So I would just be up in there for about a good 30, 40 minutes just gaming, just gaming. eating Subway and like looking stupid. It was like the a big best sessions, kid. man. It was Bro, the best sessions. There was even a couple of laundry mats that used to have it. But yeah, so I'm all, I actually played more fighting games growing up than I do now. And I think it was just because there was just so many dope fighting games. Yeah. And it was it felt like all the big releases were fighting games. I feel like as a kid, like you just play games. 
Yeah, like, whatever it's, it's came your way. You, it's not until you become an adult you start to catch on to like certain games that you mm-hmm. like. Like, who would have thought that I would uh I don't know what this is on my shirt. Oh, milk, milk my son, my son, my son. Got it. Son. It happens, man. Dad but, life. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, f- I feel like as a, especially as a kid, like like all of these games, I can't see myself if they said they came out with a game something like it being interested in playing it on like new next gen like these new generation consoles you know what i'm saying like star wars racer okay sonic i'm not that into sonic as i used to be jet set radio future probably i would play i would pick that up probably um what else did uh what else did i say oh berserk i probably would play berserk i'm not gonna lie like just the fact that this big ass sword, he dragging this big ass sword. Imagine what they would do with that, like it being updated graphics and I think storytelling. They, I want to uh, say they did create a new they Berserk did? game, okay. And I think it's very close to like um, Dynasty Warriors. Mm. I want to say it's a lot. Oh, okay, lines. yeah, Dynasty. But Warriors see, but but see, this Berserk, I didn't play it. I didn't even know it existed until you told me, and I looked and did a little research. Yeah, with that Berserk. It it had aspects of gaming that you didn't think people would think about like yeah. that back then. You, his sword would be so big, and you'd be in a hallway, and you couldn't swing it. <laughs> like you would swing. I'm watching the video, and I'm like, "Holy hell!" He's the dude is trying to swing the sword, and he has to keep moving because the sword keeps hitting the ceiling or hitting the side of the walls because yeah. he's in a hallway. <laughs> so the dude's maneuvering his weapon and his attack to fit into that small space. And this is in what. 2000 what? 2000 2000 yeah i think you know i think the dreamcast if i'm not mistaken it was ahead of its time for us 90, in 98 yeah 98 99 okay. for us because i want to say it hit other country it hit other places first yeah i would i would assume that it hit especially because i knew it was big in japan mm-hmm. so for it to hit us so young like i said we're, we're i'm eight years old Eight nine yeah. years old at that time, yeah. so it's kind of like, dang. But yeah, I mean that. Like I said, that that is the only remake that makes sense for me. I think a lot of people, some kids, don't even know what the damn Dreamcast is. So, Not realizing it was the first system to have um, to have a DVD player. See what I'm saying? That and hey. <laughs> that's a, that's a ass if I'm not mistaken, itself. right? The Dreamcast. I think it did. Yeah, you had to, you could play it, you could play it on it. Because remember how the the way it was set up, it was actually the first system to have like the the whole system interface before you play the game type deal. Yeah, it had a menu. You got yeah. to move. On. So, I mean, unless I'm, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comment section below. But, yeah, uh, let us know. I remember but I, that vividly I swear. from, and I had a, we had a Dreamcast. We had a, or not, I'm, we had a, we did have a Dreamcast. We had a Genesis. I had an Atari. Um, we damn near had all of the systems, but it was nine of us, it's, or eight of us before my baby sister was born. It was eight kids, and you know, but that four boys, four girls, four of the boys. Barely get to play. The girls don't play as much as they that they should. So we weren't really breaking down the games like that. This is all vivid memory I remember from the experience of barely playing the damn system. This is why I say, to me at least, mm-hmm. the Sega Dreamcast makes total sense to remake. Remake that. If you're going to remake a system, remake that and give it a fair shake. Because it's, I, but damn. And that's, a, that's another topic we'll have another day. Would that oh, yeah. be a fair shake? Cause things come and go so fast, and and you know, you know what? A part of me wants to escape nostalgia, bro. Like, not not gonna lie. As mm-hmm. much as I love the Dreamcast, how much fun I had with it, and I don't think I don't think it had a DVD player. I think you could play music on it. Okay. Um, let us know in the comments if you guys find out. Please let us know messages and all that other stuff. Communicate with us. Um, because we love being right, but we don't want to sit here and be lying. Correct. Me. Um. Correct me, please. <laughs> but um, but no, like I my worry with this nostalgia, and we've talked about it before, we've harped on it before, and it's not even me trying to be a head or anything like that. It's just a simple of it's a simple fact of it, it creates a slippery slope of why create something new and advanced 
when people love what we did in the past. Exactly. God and that's, and that, that scares me. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, I'll use, for example, somebody actually, I forgot the guy's name. I was watching this video, and he made a great point. And this is a great transition, too. Going into talking about games that were big disappointments. Um, and so now I'm rolling and talking about Bethesda and Fallout 76. Okay. Um, and I know you brought this up, and I'm sorry I'm kind of jumping. Oh, no, you're good, man. But, but Bethesda, at its core, has been something I've always loved. In- I was okay with... Uh, because you got to think I was a kid, too. I was okay with uh, the bugs... Because the overall story, gameplay, those things were fun. Fallout 3, a lot of people love Fallout New Vegas more than Fallout 3. I personally like Fallout 3 better. Um, I've Me played too. Fallout 3 agree. more. Yep. Yeah, um, it wasn't as colorful, but it just for some reason felt like an overall better experience and better game to me. 100% was. Um. Yeah, yeah for me. I'm um, not trying to change anybody's mind, putting it out there. So I was okay with that. Then... You jump to um, Oblivion, uh, Morrowind, Morrowind, Oblivion, and um, Skyrim. Like these games changed my whole life and changed the type of games, changed my gaming life. How I, what type of games I enjoy and play. Open world RPG, action RPG, story driven. Like these games, they they completely change what I'm into. Yeah. So yeah. knowing that, and then you get to today. You get to where we are now. So they've rebooted and sold Skyrim, huh. I want to say, over six times. <laughs> about and I might be giving them, I might be selling it short. Um, I might be selling it really short. Honestly, I think it's more than that. Um, Because it came out on the 360 in uh, PlayStation uh, 3. And then it came out. Uh, then, of course, they had like the definitive collector's edition, um, like the one with all the DLC. And then it moved to the Xbox, uh, to the Xbox One, and, uh, PlayStation Four. And then it, uh, then they came out with uh, the Nintendo Switch version. Then you had PC. Um, you had okay. So how many versions i'm gonna read this right now it says skyrim the name needs no further introduction so if you are even slightly interested in computer gaming you will have heard or more likely played it currently has been released on seven platforms was remastered one half a decade after its release original release has three official official expansion packs and has sold over 30 million copies. This game probably taking up potentially billions of hours of humanity. Okay, that don't really say it. So it was released seven different platforms. Yes. Oh, it's even on Alexa, bro. Really? Bro, if you have an Alexa, uh, you, yes. if, you have a, if you have an Amazon. Is that game that can... good? I never played it. <laughs> what? I never, yes. I never played it. It's it's, it's clearly good. good enough to where they did a voice voice adventure version of Skyrim. So you're sitting there is like it VR? Alexa, how much it health? Be, it has no, to be VR. No, it's not VR. It's verbal. It's all verbal. It's a verbal action story like old school. Alexa, uh, it, she'll tell you you're like walking down the path, and then she'll be like, "Okay, you come across a goblin. What do you want to do?" Mm-hmm. And it's like, "Oh, well, I want to use my sword." Yes, that is real. It came out. Okay. People thought it was a joke. So has it came out VR version though? Yeah, they did do a VR so there's version. A VR, okay, yeah, for. this game wins, dog. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this game's Bro. been released eighteen thousand different times, <laughs> and I think it will be re-released again. And they even said it. They said we're not gonna stop making this game until you guys stop buying it. This is like Grand Theft Auto Five. Oh, they did say this in July. Yeah, I remember that. Stop yeah, buying it. <laughs> stop buying it. And and it's hard for, but but this is the thing. Yes, it is on us as a consumer. Mm-hmm. Sorry for the awkward pause. It it is as consumers, we need to do our part. But okay, I personally feel Rockstar really rolled the dice with Red Dead Redemption 2. Because you got such a money crank in GTA 5, bro. 
I'm not going to front. Did you see what Rockstar just put out for GTA 5? Oh, God. See? <laughs> what did they do? <laughs> they put out another DLC for it. Wow. Personally, I feel that's a good decision, but it's also also a risky one because you got diehards who want to stay on top, similar to how you are with your destiny. You mm-hmm. want to stay on top. You want to be a, You want to be there. When something's new, I don't blame you. You enjoy the game. So when people who really enjoy GTA Online, which I don't, that's why I don't play it, mm-hmm. uh, they're going to stop playing Red Dead Redemption 2 to go and finish all the new stuff on GTA 5. But that, see, I, I feel like on their behalf that that's a bad thing to do. Yeah, because, yeah. Because, yo, you got a brand new game out here. Like, got, what are you doing? This game... GTA shouldn't be beating this game out in views, like. <laughs> and it is. If it, it is right, yes, it is. It is. When I seen it, I went and checked. When I seen that the DLC had came out, you know, or I, when I seen they announced it, I went and checked. Mm-hmm. Red Dead Redemption hasn't been at the top in a while, and it won't be until they drop out some new to- no, some new content for it. Yep. And so, or at least until it's out of beta, like it. That's crazy. This, Bro, it's. I think that's a risky move. I appreciate them coming out with a new game, even though it took so many years. But I really do appreciate it. Because for me, I want something new. I want to see a new IP. That's why... Uh, but back to, back to Bethesda. My fear is they screwed us over. Mm-hmm. And, they're, and their true colors are starting to show. Like things that they used to get away with were because your games were so great that we would overlook all your flaws. We overlooked the horse armor that did nothing because you know they're the ones who started the useless skin uh, DLC. Hmm. You know that, right? Hmm. No, I didn't. Most people don't sense. know that. They started that. <laughs> they had horse armor that was like five bucks and it did nothing. It didn't make your horse stronger. It just looked a certain way. So it was... Uh... Horse armor. Look it up. It's one of the biggest... Old school memes ever. Hell to the moon. um horse armor. They started that. So now that you you're the you're one of the origins of the cosmetic uh cosmetic memes or cosmetic uh DLC mm-hmm. paid paid content that's purely cosmetic. You should be punished for that. Because <laughs> look at where we are now. There's whole games Fortnite that financially are driven. By cosmetic co- content. Woo. Yeah. Well, I mean, scary. That's yeah. Scary. That, I scary. guess I'm so used to it now because but that's what a lot of games not are. The but norm. It wasn't the norm. You're right. Yeah. It, it it was not normal. It was not. Could you imagine back then? Because no, you got to think about old school, old school DLC. You know how mad yeah. I would be. Yeah. I give I give you five bucks. I need to destroy something. Like Man. I need to be able to destroy something. Nowadays, Man. my horse needs I give to you, fly. I give you five bucks to look pretty. Yes, <laughs> digitally, <laughs> we I'm are like, closer to Ready Player One than we ever realized. But but you and you know what's funny? PlayStation Three as well. I guess that was my first, since I didn't play Skyrim. I don't even know when Skyrim came out. Ah, uh, oh, God, what was it? Two thousand. Hold on, let's look. I got Jesus. it right here. But he, what, what I was about to say was, I remember dropping cash on, okay, it came out 2011. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it came out 11, 11, 11. Okay, so that means, so now look, look at this. Uh, PlayStation Home, which was on PlayStation 3, mm-hmm. I was able to purchase like clothes and things like mm-hmm. that. But you, I'm dealing with real people, so real people actually see my character. Yeah. And that was the first time I ever spent money to look fly in a game <laughs> because I'm in there talking to people. You don't want to go in there with the default skin. People going to bag on you. <laughs> so, so I remember, <laughs> I remember to this day, I remember asking my sister to borrow a card, gave her the money. She put the money on my account. I was able to purchase and buy all of the damn stuff that I needed. I bought it. I bought an apartment complex. I bought it. I bought a gang of stuff. And I I had people over. People were able. To, I invited people over to my crib. I'm walking through my crib. You see all these people here. I look fly. I got the. I got the Tony Montana suit. Look at this painting. 
<laughs> Enjoy yourself. And that was the first time, like I said, I ever paid. But now that I think about it, I would never do that again. Yeah, I would. It, I would yeah. never. If I if I give you five bucks, I need to have the all seeing eye sword that destroys everything one hit. <laughs> for five and, extra dollars yeah and that was back if, then cause think, but no but let's think about this let's put it in scale cause I really do want to jump back onto this the game only cost sixty dollars yeah five dollars is a lot of the sixty mm-hmm. but yet I'm only buying one cosmetic item of the sixty horse armor <laughs> horse armor hey but horse armor but, but back to the point so Bethesda's Bethesda's sins are starting to catch up with. Them. Okay. And with Fallout 76, they really screwed people over. Yeah. So Yeah, I think that What's the worst what was the worst game for you? Fallout for 2018? 76. Fallout okay. 76 because I expected so much from them. I'm I'm still living off the glory days of Fallout 3. Those to me and then to be honest, that was my first introduction to the Fallout series. So now yes. it being my first, int- which I've I've said on here plenty of times before, my first introduction being Fallout Three. I'm comparing everything you do from here on out to, to Fallout, Fallout 3. Three, and mm-hmm. it it I'm not going even front. It's not like they couldn't have done that. I think they're if there was any other uh, game studio out there that can top that level, it's Bethesda. They've done yes. so much other. Th- they put out DLC. For Fallout 3, that was amazing. And I, yeah. you know, DLC really ain't, and some people don't really mess with DLC like that, but DLC for a game like that was important. I mean, yes. one took you into space. You were able to get, One like, expanded the game. Exactly. So now like you're- Like past, past the end game. Exactly. So now you're at this point of comparing everything to Fallout 3 that if I don't get nothing close to it, I, I'm drawn back from it. So I, and I'm not worried about it too much. So that's why I wasn't worried about Fallout 76 as much as I should have been. And when I even when I picked it up, it kind of was like, mm, eh, uh, oh. okay, let me go back to Destiny. I haven't paid. I haven't played it past the beta, and yeah. I own the game. So I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I, I mean, honorable mentions as well. I know we're gonna continue to kick 76, but uh, I think another game. And and this is more more so you can more so touch on this, but Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves was mm. another game that had high expectations as well, and it didn't really turn out well. But let me let me jump on this. Yeah, do you? I think something. I think something that we should leave in 2015 forever is being okay as the gaming community with games coming out not ready and not filled and not what they're promising in the trailers yeah unless they come out and say we plan to be here if you come out saying that up front then okay that's what early access is for that's what blah 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 i can that has a lane just like mumble rap and all that it has a lane i'm not mad at it do what you're going but we cannot take any more destiny 2 resets See if these coming out hollow. Um, Fallout seventy six having God rays popping out the ground like it. It just, bro. <sighs> we cannot. <laughs> we cannot. This is the future. Mm-hmm. We're officially in the year that Akita was. Uh, Akira was on. Mm-hmm. We're officially past the year that Back to the Future was. We are in the future. <laughs> Why are we having growing pain? <laughs> community? <laughs> This is bad. Why are early access games that why are early access and beta games winning awards? <laughs> yeah, what yeah. world yeah. are we in? The Gaming future. community. <laughs> the future. Leave it in the past. Leave it in 2018. <laughs> Moving forward. But no, but with Sea of Thieves, the problem was, and I, I did a pretty in-depth video about it. Our engineer. Mr. T. Jones can put it in the uh, put the link below. In the beginning, and- consistency, 2019 <laughs> consistency. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping uh, I've mentioned that as beautiful as the game was, some of the most beautiful water. Some I've had some dope experiences. So the gameplay was fun, beauty. It was some of the dopest stuff I've ever seen. Um, the drop in and out gameplay was simple. 
but I felt hollow immediately. I knew it was just, it was empty. And I mentioned that in my review and I knew for a while that it was going to be empty. Yeah. So I didn't feel like investing any more time into it. Now, from what I'm hearing, just like how the division fixed itself, people are jumping back in the Sea of Thieves because it feels like a completely different game. But that, as good as that is, that's as bad as it is. That's a bad thing Excuse that people that you went and had to basically revamp your game that people bought, even though a lot of people didn't pay for it because it was, uh, it was on Xbox Game Pass. Um, I think it was a day one Xbox Game Pass. But um, just the whole point of it, release a complete game, hold off. You know, some companies, nah, they're backed by Microsoft. I'm sorry. They got money. No. If you got money, don't release no broken game. And if you don't got money, early access it. Make money and then fix it as you go. Because then you build a community. And that's all. That I think that's what, I mean, and we're speaking from the consumer standpoint. Yeah, I'm trying I to talk like as a consumer. I'm building, buying this stuff, so I want something fixed. Building Don't a community in the game that you're creating is the best thing to do. And I'm all for it. The reason why I stand for it is because the job gets easier for you as a developer if you have a community. And if you listen and to I'm that. definitely we're definitely going to have another conversation about Destiny, and I'm going to tell you why Destiny 2... Has, is going to go down or Destiny the franchise is going to go down as one of the best games in history but I'll mm. save that for another day yeah um, I'm with that but you have to once you have a community back b- behind your games they're going to tell you they're going to be brutally honest with you what's wrong with this game what's right with this game There's and, and that's another thing too something's always going to be wrong with the game yeah something Hands is down. always going to be wrong with the game, there's always gonna be a problem. It's gonna all you're gonna have to always be prepared to put out an update, and you just gonna have to think about that. But I never, I always have to be able. I always have to be able to enjoy the game as it's out as well, because and that's why and that's another reason why I stopped playing be- demos. Stop playing mm. demos. I don't play demos no more because it ruins or the betas. game or or betas. Yeah, let's or betas is actually what they are. That's the term now. So I don't I don't play yeah. betas no more um, because I don't want to be ruined. I don't want it to be. I don't want this l- small session. Be, and then they'll open up a beta, then close the beta. So it's not like you can't, you can, oh, you know, let me give it another try again after this date, after this date is gone. You can't, you got to wait till the game comes out. And then now you're, you're based off of other people's opinions on the game. And not only that, you're also based off of, uh, you're based off other people's opinion of the game, and you're based off of what the developer is saying. You, I trust no developer, not one mm-hmm. of them. I don't trust. Mm-hmm. I can trust actions that they've done based off of mm-hmm. prior situations that they've taken care of, or prior situations that they, or prior uh, like problems or things that they fixed. But I can trust you as far as I can throw you. That's pretty much Man. it when it comes to that. So I don't. Um, I I'm very open to new to new games, but once I catch wind of something like, I mean, I can give you plenty of examples. I will not because that we're actually going to jump into our next topic of mm-hmm. uh, what games we're interested in for 2019, yes. and I could pull a gang of games off that list and tell you some stuff about that each I don't like each yeah. company that I I didn't find intriguing at all. But um, so yeah, you I guess start it off? yeah, so. Uh, for me, though, though I'm gonna just give you one game. I'm gonna give you two games that I'm actually interested in too for 2019. Uh, the one, the number one is the Division Two. I feel like the Division ended on a strong note, and I, I, I feel like, uh, I feel like that uh, Ubisoft know where they messed up at and knew how to bounce back. Uh, mm. Based off of people that I know that play the game, that enjoy the game now at the state that it's, it's a lot of now. people who still stream it. Exactly. It's a, and it's a lot of people that are dedicated to keep on playing it and are waiting on the Division 2. I'm intrigued because I was a huge Des- Division 1 fan before mm-hmm. they, they kind of destroyed the way the I looked update. at the game. So I'm looking forward to Division 1. Or the Division, Division two. 2, sorry. And uh, what was the other one? I wanted to give. I just seen it and thought it was should be. I thought it was gonna be another film. Bio Mutant. 
Mm. So Bio Mutant, uh, that game looked fun. It looked like something new. Um, I am hoping that it that they that they do something fun. I don't know too much about the game. I just know you're a, you're a created creature and you run around. You have like powers and weapons stuff you like that. You get to change all of it. Yeah, you get the you know you have all of that stuff on the ready. So I'm looking forward to those two games. Those are the only two games. So well, what uh, well, what games are you? Because I knew you had. I think the list was kind of short for you as well. Yeah, it wasn't that many, and I'm actually grateful that it's not that many. Um, of course, a lot of people, Kingdom Hearts three. I'm not gonna play it not anytime soon because yeah. I know it comes out pretty soon. Um, it comes out within the month this month January. So. I'm not going to play it because everybody and their mom's going to play it and I won't have to. So I can just sit back and kind of talk to people about it and I'll wait until it's on super sale and then I'll probably play it yeah. just because my backlog and we'll talk about that in a sec. But so um, Kingdom Hearts 3, I'm actually getting more and more excited about Anthem. Um, I'm probably not going to buy it right away. I'm going to wait, see how it does the first couple weeks, Yeah. Um, which comes out February. Is it February? I'll tell you right now. Okay, and while he's checking that, day is gone. That I will probably be a day one purchase because Sony they rarely fail with their single player story driven experiences. Yes, you're right, rarely uh, fail. The release date for Anthem is slated to be released uh, worldwide uh, for all three major co- platforms: Microsoft, PlayStation, and Xbox, on February twenty second. Okay, February. Okay. Um, the division two, of course, because I did have fun with the division one, but at, their update is what ruined it for me. Uh, they made it to where casual players couldn't keep up and you felt it. So hopefully, hopefully the division two, what they fix is whatever they show in their trailers, they put in the game, whatever they show in their trailers, they put in their game. Cause there was Don't a lot come of, out with the trailer. Yeah. Don't. There was a lot of stuff missing. Like they promised different tech. They promised different weapons. They promised different abilities. Those things were not there during the release of the game. And they already showed some gameplay that of some dope stuff that I hope they don't take out. Yeah. Uh, then uh, Rage 2. I'm actually interested in it. It looks a little doomish to me with how the gameplay speed. Um, I, I can, I enjoy those type of games like Doom, Quake, but it's nothing I spend a lot of time on just because I I don't like that fast of gameplay. But Rage 2, Division 2, Days Gone, Anthem, and Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, I probably won't buy most of those games until the end of this year because my backlog, and that's actually transitioning to one of our last topics. Yeah. Backlog. We're, we're screwed. <laughs> it, is, it is so stupid. My backlog. I, I don't even know. I think I have... On a low end, like super low. This is me being my 500 hours backlog. Mm. And that's that's The Witcher 3 mm. and all this DLC. That's, hell, as much as I've played Skyrim, do you know I've never beat it? <laughs> I'm not surprised with your ass. <laughs> I've never beat Skyrim. As much as I've played it, I've played the living hell out of it. Bought it. You might as well get it. Oh, did you get it on your Switch? I do have it on Xbox. On your no, Switch? No, one. no, I'm not buying it on my Switch. I refuse. <laughs> I, even though a part of me wants to. You caught the loop, dog. No. <laughs> no. I, you don't understand. If a deal comes across and it flies across my shelf for 15 mm. I might pick him up. You picking him But they sell that motherfucker for full price, bro. It flips for 60 Okay. <laughs> bro. So uh, I got Shadow of War. I got Skyrim. I have um, I have Wasteland Three that I uh, Wasteland. Oh, they're coming out with a Wasteland Three. I will play that. Did I see that? Um, uh, it's yeah, it's coming out. Um, I haven't finished uh, Final Fantasy uh, fourteen or or fifteen. My bad. Um, that was a while ago though. I haven't finished Fallout Four. I've never beat it. I've never. I have a giant Fallout Four, bro. I got giant. Fallout Four stuff on this thing over here, bro. I have almost all the Fallout Four uh, pops. That's my dog. That's dog meat right there. 
Yeah. Yeah. That oh yeah, I got dog, dog meat. I got dog meat. I got dog meat too. I yeah. got the sweater. I got the sweater in the yeah. closet right here. Bro, I'm I'm telling you. Um what else do I got? Oh, Mutant Year Zero, um, Ashen, um Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> Which I'm probably never, ever, ever gonna finish because I don't want to <laughs> finish it. I, there's I have this thing. Do you know I hate watching the end of movies? I think I've said this podcast before the episode uh, before. just to let that. you guys know i have this weird thing and anybody out there who's like a therapist like or who can please diagnose like, them diagnose me <laughs> i have this weird thing of not wanting to finish anything because i don't want it to end um m- except books i can finish books for some random reason but then i get mad i get really mad um that's why i like movies where they tell you what the people are doing like afterwards Oh, so and so went off to go do yeah. this and had kids. I love that they do that for me because <laughs> just I for need me. that. I need that closure, mm-hmm. and then life continues. <laughs> and that's the world <laughs> stop right there. Right there. Um, God. Uh, what else? Um, Jesus. Uh, I need to. Oh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, I haven't finished oh, that. I, got uh, big ass. I haven't jumped back into No Man's Sky. I heard bro, that game. My heart is hurting right now. Bro. 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 Be- and that's because the- these games is coming out way too fast, bro. I don't know what to do with myself. And we and, and we then, have money, but no time. Bro, and then, <laughs> and, and then for me at least. I'm consumed by destiny. I don't oh, yeah. want to At least you're miss. consistent. I don't want to miss anything. And they've they've started this new trend. I, I'm I'm gonna save it for a different episode. I'm just consumed. I don't want to touch nothing else. Don't want to play nothing else. I don't want to look at nothing else right now. And it's it's just a I'm in a great space when it comes to playing. I mean, and and then I, I I'm also finding out that I love like raids. And I'm really uh, thinking of diving into World of Warcraft to run some of that those raids. Ooh, got there. World of Warcraft. Because I I love what I'm thinking. I'm starting to love about. Oh, games I need to with... talk about my PC back. Oh sh- no! I think I have 130 don't, games, don't. bro. You got more than that. You get a free I game. Don't. You get free I games don't. every week, every month. <laughs> my heart hurts. <laughs> yep, mine too. Actually, I do got a game that I'm supposed to be reviewing. Oh Jesus! Yep, they sent me a code. Yep, there you go. But but let me tell you this: I cut you off. But I saw. Sorry about that. No, you good. I think these videos that I'm doing, my two cent reviews, and I'm plugging myself. Feel like slut. Oh man, follow my man. You know what I'm saying? Right, Baron J six seven. Check me out. I'm working. I'm working. (laughs) But um, I've started doing like late reviews uh my thoughts and uh my two cents and basically i'm just going through and trying to finish game so i can review them like i did one on a, on a tv series and whatnot because we've been watching a lot of anime and tv mm-hmm. but um uh, but i think my youtube channel is going to help me to because i want to do videos about it yeah the stuff so but yeah keep going man with destiny what oh, games are you going back with Huh, man? I don't want to get into my back. Have you finished Red Dead? Nope. Do you plan on finishing nope. Red Dead? <laughs> <laughs> it is okay. Let's let's clarify because we're in our last minutes. It's not that Red Dead Redemption is bad. It is so good. It's really good. I just one complaint I have is the controls. I don't like the it is controls. Clunky. It is clunky. I really don't. I think that they should do something about that. If they haven't already done this, something it like is that. clunky, and it it just doesn't make sense the way they set the controls up. It just didn't make sense for me. So uh, that was a big turnoff for me. But it, it wasn't so big where it was like oh, I ain't playing this game no more. Yeah, it's yeah. just see, I got some. Ex- I can. I, it's gonna sound like an excuse. Mm. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying. Like I'm just yeah. gonna, you know, you'll catch me one day. One day, I right, <laughs> right. So, okay. So, we actually hit all our topics today. We did. Yo, 2019 Dude. consistency, consistency, baby. <laughs> yeah. Consistency, oh, baby. For those who are new, for those who are listening to us for the very first time, well, and I need you to know that we're very random and we do come with a script. 
of <laughs> not a script, but we come with a list of topics we want to hit. We rarely do that. We usually get stuck on one and then we go off on a tangent. Ice cream or something. Ice cream. But I'm so proud of us. We did it. We did it today. We did that. Thank you. Congratulations to you, man. Oh, crap. I think your mic you. went out. Oh, did it? Let me see. Did it? <laughs> oh, so, man. In my back. Hey, oh, man. That's bullshit. Okay. Man. We got technical difficulties, but it's all right. So we're going uh, we're gonna to call it. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, I think he back we're, now. He oh, there we go. We're back. <laughs> got you. <laughs> Woo! Back. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Um, but no. So, yeah, and we have a lot of technical difficulties. But welcome, folks. And I want to give a shout out to all the people who helped us out. Tone. Tone Deaf Network. Tone Deaf Network. Those guys are amazing, man. Solid group of people. They picked us up, uh, what, Round last case. year? We're going on our it's second year, right? Year. It's about to be our it's second year. year. Um, we They got second. us. Yeah, it's about to be our second year with them. Really? We did a full year with Tone. Yeah. Oh, this is. We're going on our second year now. Oh. Yeah, we did one year already. Woo. Boy, oh, I'm yeah, crazy. Yeah, two years blind, old. Bro. I'm about to be 30, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're working on our second year of uh, Vintage of the Black Bears, Shout out, man. Tone, man. I, I appreciate you, man. I, I, the yeah, whole for network, real. Network, it's a gang of content over there. You'll find yes. something you'll love. I guarantee it. And we'll make sure to drop the link. The link is in there. For, I know that for link, a fact. Link yo. is in there. there. Catch me on <laughs> Right? And they got us blasted across Spotify. You can listen to us. Uh, and I don't know where you listen to it, uh, to us now, but Spotify, um, Apple Music, uh, uh, iHeartRadio, anywhere you can listen to a podcast, you can listen to us, YouTube, all those fun places. Um, and, and please, subscribe and chat with us. Hit us up. Our Ooh. handles... Baron J67, T Jones, but there's a placeholder in front of that. Stop, um, man. Listen, leave that in 2018, too, though. <laughs> leave that there, too. Listen, bo- I'm Look, T Jones. Okay. T- <laughs> hit up T Jones on all. That's our that's our handles Twitter, and Instagram, you know, all that. You fun know, stuff. T Jones is still not available. I'm still waiting. I check oh, every day. Oh, Jesus. He's like, I'll oh, keep going. I'm a petition. You should message that person. I like, have. Bro, the person I got, I, I have. Yo, bro. $2. PayPal right now. Like you can get this money right, right now. Right now, two dollars for it, dog. Take this work. Mm-hmm. But, don't um, but me, though. right, but yeah, make sure to subscribe to our our individual YouTube channels. Subscribe to our podcast. Um, subscribe to Tone Deaf Network. Please check out the website. Check out all the stuff we stream. We both stream. And um, all the links are in the description first, below if you're watching us on yeah. YouTube. If you're Everything us on is YouTube, there. Everything's in the description. Check out our Patreon account. All of that stuff. We have so much to give, and we are here. And the word of the year on last note is consistency. consistency. We will be here. Now ask me to spell it, and I'll fail you. I'm Baron J67. <laughs> ask me to spell it. All right. All right. Catch y'all later. Peace. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. But all right, man. You were doing I'm Baron J67. I'm T Jones. Man, much love. Peace. Peace.